run. I would thought you would have selected for your favorite two part play, Nicholas Nickleby. I, I, I like part Nicholas one, Nickleby. Part and, you know, eventually we will release those nine episodes we filmed about that, and uh, you know, the yes. world will the world will get to see all my thoughts in detail. But like, yes. uh, you know, stay tuned for that. Well, wasn't that an ominous comment? Hello, everybody. I'm Ryan Barakovich from Cup of Hemlock Theater, and I'm excited to announce a new mini-series that we produced earlier this year and are finally ready to launch. In 1980, the Royal Shakespeare Company famously produced an eight-and-a-half-hour adaptation of Charles Dickens's 1838 beast of a novel, The Life and Adventures of Nicholas Nickleby, or just Nicholas Nickleby for short. Written by David Edgar, co-directed by future Les Mis helmsman John Karen Trevor Nunn, and starring the late great Roger Rees in the title role, This was a massive undertaking with a cast of nearly 40 actors playing over 130 characters between them. Fast forward to the year 1982. The production was preserved on film in the form of a pro shot and broken up into nine individual hour-long episodes to be released on television by the UK's Channel 4. Fast forward to the present. And all nine of those episodes are now available for viewing on the streaming service Broadway HD. And in the fall of 2020, when I noticed this to be the case, I immediately reached out to my good friend and co-producer of all things The Cup, Mackenzie Horner, asking him if we could review it on our platform. It took a little while for us to decide upon the best format for doing so. Being such a long and daunting production, we figured it would be a lot to ask a group of panelists to watch for a single review episode. We also were then faced with the question, could we even do it justice in only one episode? This happened to also be around the time that we had first introduced our duet review format, with the release of our episode on the Chichester production of Sarah Kane's Crave, which opened up the possibility for shorter, easier to produce and schedule content than our usual four-person panelist format. So, from February to April of 2021... Mac and I spent nine consecutive weeks watching each of those subdivided Nicholas Nickleby episodes on Broadway HD, reviewing each one as we went. While this is undeniably divorced from the original theatrical experience of seeing the production all in one or two sittings, taking it incrementally in this way put us in the mindset of the original Victorian reading public, who encountered the novel in serialized form and thus had to wait patiently for Dickens to write and publish each new installment. Aside from the practical reasons for tackling it one hour at a time, This procedure offered us the unique ability to meditate on the historical continuum between serialized literature and episodic television. In our excitement about this new project, we may have jumped the gun and started promoting it just a tad prematurely. Coming in January, we have a lot more uh, duet reviews, and uh, we we are currently working on a special nine-part series. So stay tuned for that coming at you probably in February. We have so much more coming. Uh, Ryan, our literary manager, are working on a nine-part mini-review series that will be coming out at, in, uh, at some point in February or starting in February. Also, keep an eye out. Ryan and I have a very special nine-part project uh, coming at you in the next few months. So... What will be coming up is a really fun mini series that Ryan and I are currently working on getting ready to release to all of you. So stay tuned for that. But now, after great anticipation, mostly from us, we're finally ready to share it with the world. So for the next nine Wednesdays, we're going to be releasing each of these episodes. Caveat, I'm being informed that we might take a break halfway through the run to slot in some more current content. TBD, we'll see how the wind blows on that one. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would I want to watch two people I don't know spend hours talking about a play I haven't seen, making supposed hot takes that haven't been hot in nearly four decades? And, well, you know... Well, wait. that That's actually a good point. Um, hang on one moment. Well, first of all, who says you haven't seen the original show? It was a pretty big deal in the 1980s and has been revived a number of times since. Tons of people have seen this show, and if you happen to be one of them, we hope you might find this to be a pretty neat trip down memory lane. As for the rest of you who've never seen this play, well, there's a pretty easy way to remedy that. All nine parts are available for streaming on Broadway HD, link in the description. Now, a subscription is needed, and this is hashtag not sponsored content. While I've personally really enjoyed being subscribed to Broadway HD, you might feel that it's not worth the $8.99 US dollars per month, and I respect that. 
I'm sure there are other ways of watching the play out there, some of which are probably even illegal. Perhaps your local library has a copy of the DVDs or, you know, whatever. Use your imagination. However, you don't have to have seen the show to be able to enjoy this series, though we'd certainly love people to follow along with us for each weekly installment. Each of our episodes begins with a detailed breakdown of what happened plot-wise in each episode of the play, making it easy for the uninitiated to follow along. We had a lot of fun recording these, and I hope you have half as much fun listening along. Some things you can look forward to hearing. A lot of terrible attempts at Cockney and otherwise British accents. An introductory crash course on the basics of adaptation theory. Detailed semiotic analysis of a certain character's scar. Comparisons to Les Mis, of which there are many. Knuckle cracking. Solving problems with punching. Getting metatheatrical with the crummels. Questionable choices in representing neurodiverse characters. Me getting unreasonably angry every time Mr. Lilyvick is on stage. Max saying, well, in the book. Both of us saying, clavagal, many, many times. Because Bob Peck, the actor who plays Muldoon in Jurassic Park, is in this, and we clearly found that endlessly amusing. And more. The first episode is coming out on August 25th. That's one week from today. If you're not already subscribed to Cup of Hemlock Theatre, this would be a great time to get in on all of the cuppery. We look forward to having you join us along the life and adventures of Nicholas Nickleby, exclusively on The Cup. Clavagal!